Hello and welcome to my channel, my name's Lizzie and I have probably started this video 10 times now. It's so hard to start in 2020 a video, like you want to kind of have that balance of happy but then I understand that this year's been really hard for people and I appreciate all my gifts and blah 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 blah. So I'm not going to do a big intro because nine other intros have kind of shown me that I can't start one. Um, yeah, I've had an alright Christmas, it's been lovely to spend it with some of my relatives. We were in tier 3, not anymore sadly, um, so we did get to spend it with some of our relatives which was lovely lovely and that was, but that sounding really cheesy and well, that was kind of the best bit. Um, I am rather dressed up for this evening, it is New Year's Eve, I am going nowhere but you know dancing in the rain I wanted to go for it this this time so I'm going to show my gifts I'm not going to show everything there was quite a few like shower jelly things which are always appreciated but you know they're kind of boring to show um alcohol a lot I think people know it's been a tough year so I've had a lot more alcohol than I ever would normally have um a lot of chocolate so going into 2021 I'm going to have a lot of chocolate and I'm probably going to spend a lot of it drunk apparently. But yeah, um, so I'm just going to show um, the bits that I've got. Um, yeah, I think what I've really loved about this year is that it's really shown that people know me really well. Um, I think I'm quite a niche individual. I know everybody says that like, oh I'm niche, you don't want to be like cliche. But like, I really like girly stuff but then I'm quite geeky. So yeah, anyway. No ramble, because nobody likes ramble, and let's get on. Okay, so I'm not going to do this any order, I'm not going to do like, I know a lot of people do it by person who's gifted them. I'm not, because it's all just in a massive pile of stuff, and yeah. Okay, so the first thing I've got is Banshee Flight Candle. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I love Disney World, like, it's... I found it very hard this year that Disney World's always been my place that if everything else in my life is crumbling apart I can go to Disney and escape and unfortunately I've not been able to do that this year and I think even going to Disney World now if I went you wouldn't be escaping it as such because obviously rightly so they have to put things in place but anyway Disney World is my place I love it and this candle just smells amazing it the um avatar ride is insanely good and this just smells like that and oh, it's so good um this is from a company called maple and whiskey they are like um they started off on etsy but now they've got their own website so they are really really like i can't think of that they're really really good like they're the scents are incredible um I've had quite a few of these, they've got so many scents, um, they've got things like Main Street USA, Main Street Bakery, Mickey Waffles, all sorts, they are fab. So they say that scent is like the best memory, so I think this is just going to be amazing for the start of 2021. So yeah, this is just going to smell like Disney and take me home. Disney World is my home, just so you know. That castle, there's mine. I wish <laughs> sometimes um so the next thing i got um and this was for my fiance's mom and dad although mom because you know it's always the mom that buys the presents isn't it let's be honest um this year's been a tough year for everybody and i know i'm just gonna put that disclaimer out i know i've not had it the worst by any stretch but i found this year really hard um i'd love to say that i've been uh, dancing in the rain for the whole thing but I have struggled I have found this year quite hard um, at points I had to postpone my wedding which I know like people have died people have lost relatives people have had to work and stuff and I, I'm not it's so hard to kind of say I struggled but I understand that like relative to other people but anyway she got me this fern cotton happy place and like it really meant so much to me that she thought about like my well-being and with this gift um so this is a whole box well tin full of stuff to kind of help you relax and kind of help you be mindful and just 
you know, like sleep is so important and there's so much in here that helps you sleep. So, ooh, I always make silly noises, apologies. So, the first thing I got was this timer. Like, I'm very mathematically minded and I like things to be very precise. So I like that this is like a set time um, for looking after yourself. I just love it. <laughs> like, this is just my kind of thing. Um, it's got an eye mask. Now I've started wearing an eye mask. I got one in my Look Fantastic advent calendar and it's just helped me sleep so much because I'm always somebody that wakes up like at seven o'clock no matter whether we're in uh, holidays um, as a teacher I have to wake up at like six but like when it's the weekend or the holidays I still wake up at seven and it's so frustrating but since I've got a sleeping mask like I have been sleeping past seven like getting up at like 11 and I think it's to do with the light so this is amazing and it oh my gosh it smells so good I think like all the other products have kind of like leached that makes it sound horrible I don't know attach themselves to it and it smells amazing so I'm not going to talk in loads of detail now about everything I'm just going to quickly whiz through so it's got this solid cleansing balm it's got this uh, dry body oil which I really like for when I'm in a rush and like it's calming as well then it's got this sleep multi-purpose balm it's got this body butter to energize definitely need that uh, sleep pillow mist, love pillow mist, you really can't underestimate the power of a pillow mist, it's just so good. And then a room mist for Energize. So yeah, and it all came in this like straw thing, I just, I love it. Um, I, I don't think my fiance's mum knew how much I like would appreciate this, but it, I just think it's so important to look after your well-being and I really think like certain things like scents and bath bombs and things like that can really help you because it's like it's saying that you're worthwhile of treating of looking after so yeah I really really like that okay the next thing I got again was from my fiance's and my dad and this is just the most amazing thing ever I'm such a geek I love jigsaws I love Lego this is my nerdy side and they got us, for me, this jigsaw. And this is from when we were in LA. Sorry, my ring light's like showing there. Um, and it's us at the Friends set. And it's so cool. Like, I can't wait to make this. It just looks awesome. And it's just so thoughtful. Like, yeah, it's so cool. So it's like a thousand piece jigsaw. Like, I love a good jigsaw. So this will be amazing. Okay, I got another jigsaw because I do like jigsaws, you know, cool kid. Um, I got this one from my fiance, which is a Disney Christmassy one. I love anything Disney, just amazing. Um, it's got some of my favourite princesses, Snow White, absolute babe. Um, yeah, so lots to keep me occupied with um the next thing is from my mum and dad so like from my mum and dad i mostly ask for money in the hope that one day we'll get to go <laughs> say travel go to disney world because that's what my traveling is like epcot around the world that's traveling to me so you know um but the one thing i wanted and this is just the box because i've been using it was a smoothie maker i've been <laughs> really trying to kind of eat and drink healthier and on the way to work because we have to leave so early like half past six I never kind of eat I just like grab chocolate bars and stuff so I really want to kind of try and eat healthier and this was just so cool because it's a blender but then your bottle um you put in and then you take the bottle straight away so you're not having to like decamp the product into the bottle it's just fab and um, yeah i've made some really nice things i've made like banana and oats smoothie and they really keep me going all day so yeah this is such like an adult boring present but it's so good so yeah awesome <laughs> this next thing is from my mum and dad and this again just shows how much <laughs> they know me um very mature gift <laughs> 
and it's a forky making kit <laughs> i like i screamed when i saw this i was like oh my god that is amazing so it's play-doh you know as mature nearly 30 year olds need play-doh kit um and you make your own forky and i'm just so happy like this is just the coolest thing ever like i love it and i can't wait to play with it like after i film this video i'm making a forky but yeah i love forky he's such a good character and yeah it's gonna be really fun okay the next thing is and again this is just the box because i've already started making it slash finished it is the lego harry potter what's inside this oh it's the instruction guide prove it drive lego kit i love like i love harry potter i made the cinderella disney castle and ever since then i've been like obsessed with lego um again i'm 29 nearly 30 in feb and i love lego my ring light i'm so sorry is rubbish but yeah it's just so cool it's got like the dursleys it's got dobby um it's got the car you can rescue harry it's got like his room under the house it's fab so this is so cool and yeah i just i love harry potter like for me it's such a comfort like if i'm having a bad day and like feeling a bit down in the dumps i love to watch like the philosopher's stone that's just my comfort thing like i'll read it or watch a film and that's just for me like a co proper comfort okay the next thing on the uh, geeky side of stuff is books i love reading um i go on this thing called goodreads and i set myself a target this year of reading 25 books and i have overshot that by a mile i think i'm nearly at 40 um but i just i love to read i love escaping and i went through a stage when i was at uni of hating reading because it was all academic and i just the idea of picking up a book for pleasure no but now as an adult she says with lego forky play-doh jigsaws um i really enjoy it so what i've got here is the mara wilson i think it's like an autobiography about her how she went from being like a child actor to where she is now i love mara wilson matilda is my ultimate like as a child that was my poorly day film i loved matilda it's my favorite book as a child it was so good so i'm really looking forward to reading this um the second one is really funny uh this is from my fiance which is much ado about mean girls this is awesome i have already read this and it's um mean girls but as a shakespeare script so it's got like all shakespearean i don't know what the word is their fancy language um and it's just so funny i would really recommend this it's just so good and like i was saying like if we ever have a baby and they turn into a teenager as they do i would totally get them to read this before doing shakespeare to kind of wean them in but yeah this is awesome it's hilarious if you're a mean girls fan absolutely go for this um the next one was from my mum which was finding love at the christmas market your standard trash that you know what's going to happen but it's good it gets you in the christmas festive mood and it's comforting so yeah loved it absolute trash not high quality but awesome then the next thing was from my fiance these are like children's books that are done as like films so they do like back to the future and stuff he got me home alone and these are like picture books so i'm a primary school teacher and these are just like the books i kind of read to my kids but we haven't done home alone and like it's just awesome and like i'm like i'm totally gonna read this to them like because it is child appropriate but yeah these are really cool and they smell amazing i don't know if it's just me but i love the smell of books i'm just a book smeller person they're just awesome I love the smell of a fresh new book. Oh, awesome. Okay. Um, my other half also got me these bookmarks. Um, this one is Walt Disney World. This one is from Disneyland. Uh, so Sleeping Beauty's Castle. Um, and I've also got one with Disney snacks, but that's in a book I'm reading at the moment. But yeah, I was like, I really need some bookmarks. And 
Yeah, because I'm such a geek. Um, the next thing I've got is from Charlotte Tilbury, which could be a bit surprising given the fact that I love really like nerdy stuff like books and jigsaws, but I love Charlotte Tilbury. I pretty much own everything in the Pillow Talk line now. It's become a bit of a obsession. I started with nothing in 2020 of Charlotte Tilbury and I've probably got about 40 things now. But anyway, this is a loose eyeshadow and it just comes in this like most extra box container ever. Okay, so the next things are more like um, kind of stocking fillers. I did have a stocking and I'd love to show it you but it's at my mum and dad's and we're not allowed to be there anymore. Sad times. Um, <laughs> that sounds so depressing. Um, okay, so the next things are um, some essential oils. Um, I brought myself a diffuser this year and I love it. Like, peppermint is my favourite. But yeah, I just love those kind of like scents and like, it's kind of a bit better than a candle because I managed to put like, not a burn mop, but like the stuff that comes off it, that, that went on my ceiling and yeah. Not a major catastrophe, but I think my fiance now prefers these. So these are essential oils, but they are Disney style. Um, he paid quite a lot in shipping, so, oops. Um, but these just smell amazing. So this one is smells like Port Orleans. Port Orleans is my favorite resort slash hotel in, in Disney World. Um, it's very special to me. It's the first place I stayed in when I went to Disney World for the first time and it's also where me and my fiance got engaged. So it's really, really special. Hopefully it's where we're going on our honeymoon, but you know, who knows with COVID. Uh, we were meant to be going in August last year, so hopefully we'll be going in August 2021, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that smells amazing. The next one is my favourite ride, which is going. I'm so sad about it. It's I, like, I understand why it's going, like, I'm not, but like, oh, it's so sad. It's my fave, um, which is Splash Mountain. That's not going to fit. Oh, it is. Splash Mountain. And then the final one, I've already shown you that, is the Old Christmas Shop. So that just smells very... Christmassy. Oh my days, this is so bad focus. Oh, there we go. So yeah, they're really, really cute. Um, I've also got a candle from John Lewis, which is G Give a Little Love. Here's Bergamot, I probably butchered that, and Musk Candle Tin. It smells, oh my gosh, it just smells like luxury and fancy. And fancy? But yeah, it's really nice. Oh, I can't wait to light it. Um, the next thing I got was a oops, Ted Baker um, notebook. I love writing things down on paper. I am very much an old lady. Like when we go to the supermarket, I prefer like a, I have a pen and paper list, <laughs> like a really cool kid. But I just, I don't know. I like the feel of physically ticking things off rather than like having it on something electronic. But yeah, this is just like, I mean, it's just beautiful. Like these post-its, I mean the bows, a notepad, Ted Baker pencil. This is just beautiful. I love, like Ted Baker is my aesthetic. Pink, rose gold. I'm sorry if I'm always using my hand. Like I know I'm very like politician with my hand. So I, I do try and like restrain myself, but you know, whatever. But yeah, this is just beautiful. I love writing things down on paper. I just think there's something special about writing stuff down. Okay, I've got a pair of socks. I'm not going to show those. Um, what else have I got? So again, li little bits. I've got this Ted Baker lip balm. I love Ted Baker. Um, some bath salts. My mum's amazing at getting like l lovely little bits that like, it's just so things you would never think to buy yourself. Uh, okay, so final few bits. Um, I love this gift bag. I have no idea where it's from. I don't know why. I think it's just a fluffiness. Like, I love a good fluffy thing. So 
you know um so this is a benefit uh gift box this was from my fiance's auntie and uncle which is so kind for them to have brought me something like i never kind of expect anything um but this is just so nice and it's like full of things that i really like i'm not going to get it out unless the light so it's got a pore professional which is so good like i have the most horrendous pores i do everything to get rid of them but they're just big and horrible it's got the precisely my brow which is something i've always wanted to try um because i have quite thick eyebrows so with my eyebrows it's kind of like topping them up rather than like having to fill in lines um bad girl bang uh, mascara which is fantastic and hula bronzer which i mean it's amazing everybody loves hula bronzer it's just the perfect perfect shade for bronzer so yes and i was running out of that so happy days okay the next thing i got very 2020 gift a nice hand sanitizer because you can't go wrong with some hand sanitizer then i have got the most bougiest looking shower gel known to man like i don't want to use this this is from Molten Brown. This is giving me like Great Gatsby vibes. I mean, really, this is just like the most amazing thing ever. Like, I never feel like my life is going to be that special to use this. It's glittery, it's gold, it's oh, beautiful. So yeah, I love this. I said it like, <laughs> it comes in its own box. What shower gels come in their own box? This is awesome. I love it. I'll have to find an occasion one day when I feel like it's worthy of that. Um, okay, these next ones are I love wearing bows, which I know is very immature for a nearly 30 year old because like, you know, I should be dressing like for my age, but I dress for my shoe size. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm pretending to be cool and really not. But yeah, I do love wearing bows, especially like in Florida where I kind of feel like it's socially acceptable in Disney World to wear bows and like dress like you're about five. But I have never seen these bows before and James said that they were from an Etsy store. And these are Disney themed. <laughs> so this one is Sleeping Beauty themed and they've all got little charms on. that is so cute i mean um then if you are familiar with disney land or disney world this is the famous doll whip which is insanely good then i don't know i keep doing this <laughs> insanely cool this is a jesse bow which i just think is so cute and then finally my all-time favorite disney princess snow white love it i can't i literally can't wait to wear this it's so cute so yeah like james was so good this year like literally i think what i loved about his gifts was that they just kind of showed me how much he knew me and what i would love so yeah okay um then i've also got from my mum a baking tin because i have been loving baking i, I think for the last two years i've just like find it very relaxing to just bake something they don't look anything fancy they don't look like anything pinterest i wouldn't really like upload a picture of them but just making a nice simple cake and putting a few like sprinkles like that's been my jam <laughs> jam um but yeah i really really liked it so i'm looking forward to like doing that and then this one what i like about it it's got this plastic so like you don't have to worry about getting the cake out of the tin okay and then the kind of last few bits are just like stocking fillery things again so i've got a tissue mask i really like tissue masks i know they're not as good for the environment but i always find like proper face masks are really hard to like wash off and stuff and i'm really lazy so this is just I like it and yeah I always find like my face just feels so much better especially after Christmas and New Year's when your face just feels <coughs> disgusting like and then I've got this uh Bayless and Harding little gift set it's got a hand cream and then like a roll-on um fragrance 
and I just love the smell like it's cranberry martini I mean can you get any more Christmassy than that so yeah, that's everything. I've had a lovely Christmas and I hope you've had a good Christmas, whether you've been in tier four or whether you're lucky and been in tier one, I'm jealous. Um, and I hope you all have a good Christmas, um, had a new years and a good start to 2021. And hopefully we are gradually getting out of what has been a very difficult time for everybody. See you soon, bye.